Hello again, this is your internet dad sharing life lessons that I offered my own sons that you may find useful in becoming a more successful person going through life. Don't forget, if you like this series, uh, click on the subscribe button. We have videos coming out every week on a variety of subjects and you will know uh, not to miss one. Today's talk is entitled Charity Begins at Home, One Person at a Time. Now, if you're still in high school, you're still in college, uh, you can look forward to the graduation ceremony where someone uh, important will come and make an inspiring talk uh, suggesting that you now go out and change the world. It's nonsense, of course. People won't be changing the world and you shouldn't feel bad if you don't if you have a successful life and make people happy, uh, that can be its own reward and it won't be changing the world. But you may see a lot of people marching around with placards uh, for uh, uh, March for Peace, climate change or some other worthy cause. And it can be a lot of fun marching with your friends. You may even be able to see yourself on the 10 o'clock news tonight but it will be largely a waste of time. But what if you actually disagree with what's being promulgated in these marches? What if you believe that there are client concerns but no such thing as a client's emergency? What if you believe that the world will not sustain an irreversible climate damage in the next 12 years, but that we can be alerted to common sense that'll be a lot less expensive and a lot less disruptive to implement. Well, the first rule is, if that's your belief, stick to your guns. The second rule is, if you disagree, agree to disagree. You may have seen my video of the same title. We've never had such a degree of polarity in the world today that I can imagine. And so no one's listening to anyone else and they're shouting at the top of their voice, don't do it. They're not going to convert you and you're not going to convert them. But equally, there are no marches for common sense or a march entitled uh, keeping a sense of proportion. So what can you do? Well, I'm going to suggest you do something much more modest, but something that will have a real effect and an impact on people's lives. And that is one whereby in every city, town and rural area there are old folks homes, hospices, VA hospitals and many charitable homes. They're full of lonely people and you can help to rectify that. You can call them up and say, would it be useful if I came once or twice a week for an hour to talk to some of the people who are the most lonely in the, uh, in the building. And these people may have lost their spouses, they may have had children but they move away, or in fact they've never had a family. You can make a real difference here. All you need to do is chat and listen to them. Some of them will have truly amazing stories. You'll be very surprised. If you have a dog that's well trained and um, friendly, like a, a golden lab or whatever, ask the staff if you can bring the dog in. I've seen that happen very successfully. They, people love it and, that, and your dog will get more pats and scratches uh, on its head and under its chin in one hour than you're prepared to give them in a month. So everybody wins. So, if you volunteer to do this, you won't be changing the world like that pompous speaker at your graduation suggests you should. However, you will be making a difference and you'll be making the world a little happier, one person at a time. Try it. Until next time.